Hey everyone, welcome to The Planner Spot. I'm Sam and today I'm gonna do an updated planner flip through. So as you can see, this happened. I know this is the third planner you've seen me in over the past couple of weeks. I have been using my A5 size Louis Vuitton agenda and then I explained over on Instagram that this got super heavy for me to carry around lately because I've been having some chronic neck and shoulder pain and I do carry my planner with me everywhere. So then I decided to switch back into my personal size and I got it all set up. I did all the inserts and everything and I just felt like, wow, <laughs> it's so narrow. The pages are so narrow. And then people have always been telling me because they know my struggle between wanting the space of an A5, but the portability of a personal size. And many of my planner friends in the community have been telling me I should try personal wide. And then I just so happened to go on Amazon the other day. I don't remember why. I just wanted to check out what Moterm had available on Amazon. And I saw the cream croco in personal wide and I just felt like I wanted to get it. I wanted to try it out and see if it would work for me. And because in order to really try something out, I had to fully set it up. I mean, I had to do all the inserts, you know, set it up like I'm gonna use it and live in it for like, I don't know, at least maybe a week or so to see if it's working for me. So I moved into this two days ago. I just barely finished like printing all the new personal wide inserts and putting it in here. So I thought I would do a flip through with you guys and kind of explain my reasoning behind trying out the personal wide. So first of all, here's the size difference. So I had to zoom out a bit so you can see the size difference. So this is the A5, this is the personal wide, and this is the personal size. So you can tell that it is an in-between size. And I wanted to show you guys the size difference between the A5 and the personal wide. So as far as width, there's just like this tiny little bit here. So it's a tiny bit more narrow but then you can see it's a lot shorter and the thickness is I mean because the Moterm has this big pocket in the back it makes it a little bit thicker but I guess it's pretty comparable as far as the thickness and then here is the personal wide compared to the personal size so you can tell there's quite a big difference here in the width but it is the same height okay so the real difference for me is on the inside with the pages the weekly and the daily pages are not that big of a deal but the monthly pages is what really made me want to try a personal wide so here is the monthly spread for personal size and then here is personal wide. I have a blank one here because I'm just testing it out. So you can see the page difference. Like if it's like this because they're the same height and you can see this is where the personal size insert ends and then this is how much space left on the page you have for personal wide. But you can really tell with the boxes. So the boxes for the personal size are about right here so for the personal wide you have about this much extra space and that might not seem like a big deal but it really is i have the personal size calendar in here because i didn't want to rewrite all of october but you can see here that i had to really squeeze it in in order to use my colored dots and then write something next to it i had to really like shorten the words and make up my own abbreviations for stuff to be able to fit it in so even that little bit of extra space I feel like will be super helpful so yeah for me it does make a difference so I'm testing it out to see if I really like the personal wide size but so far I do like the little bit of extra space you get so now I just wanted to show you guys a flip through of this planner and tell you how I like it so my unicorn planner is actually the Vanderspeck beige croco and I really want to get that one of these days, but I feel like the Moterm Cream Croco is pretty comparable. 
especially since this was only like 70 something dollars and the Vanderspeck planners can be a few hundred dollars depending on what customizations you get. I feel like this is a good test run to see how I like it. And then if I really like it, maybe one day I'll be able to invest in the Vanderspeck one. So first I did get a Moterm Cream Croco, I don't know, a couple months ago in the A5 size and I didn't even move into it at all. I didn't use it and I returned it right away because I found that it was really floppy and also it was a little bit more shimmery than I had expected. And then one other thing that is super nitpicky, I didn't like how bumpy this part of the Croco pattern was. If any of you guys own a Gilio or a Vanderspeck, I feel like the Croco pattern is a little bit more flat. I mean, it's still bumpy, but the mode turns that I had in the past, I've had a black one and the cream Croco in A5 size was a lot more bumpy than this and I didn't like the look of it but for some reason I don't know why I don't know if this is the new Croco because I know Moterm came out with a new Croco that is supposed to be better um, but I do feel like this is a little bit more flat so I like it a lot more and the cover is not as shimmery as the A5 one that I got a few months ago so right off the bat I liked it a lot more and I think it's super pretty um, I'm trying to see the color I think is showing up pretty well on camera it might be like just a tad bit darker but it I think that's pretty close to what the true color is here's how it looks on the inside sorry for the glare um, in this front zip pocket I just have a washi card so I have some simply gilded washi here any shops or product I mentioned I'll try to remember to link in the description below so I just put it on this card and I left the bottom part without washi because I can also use this as a ruler like straight edge for my highlights and my lines and stuff like that so I keep that in here as well as some page flags in this little zip pocket and then in this slip pocket on the side I keep my most used stickers so a few color dots and then a couple of icons so I do have a sticker book where I have all my other stickers but these ones I use the most so I keep them right here in my planner and then I have some more sticky notes these are two by two size which I like because you can fit more on your page especially in the smaller planners I have my business card here and I have my if found card so just in case if I ever lose my planner hopefully some kind soul will see this and return it to me and then in the front secretarial pocket I have just a few pages of our notepad from miscellaneous notes or drawing paper for my daughter <laughs> when she gets bored so as you can see here because this is personal size dashboards and this is a personal wide planner it doesn't fit there's a lot of space here so I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna do I'm trying to look for some personal wide dashboards but those are a little bit harder to find since personal wide is not like a standard kind of size for a lot of planner shops um, especially for like these kind of items so for now I just have my personal size so that's what's good about the personal and personal wide that the ring configuration like the spacing and stuff is still the same so I can still pop my personal size stuff in here obviously it's gonna be a lot shorter but I might try to layer and stuff so it doesn't look as weird we'll see but I just have this little dashboard here and this clip one of my favorite clips from Kubo and Lucy and then I have this card holder. Everyone always asks me where I got this card holder. This is actually a day runner card holder that I got out of an old day runner. I found out Goodwill for like $2, but I think other shops have card holders as well. And I just put some Polaroids in here for my goals, health, family, and the business. My kids on the back. This is the fly leaf. I love having the fly leaf for the extra pen loop and also for these extra card slots, which I use to keep my task cards in. My task cards are double sided. I think in the next video that you guys will see on the channel, I talk more about my task cards. 
And then here are all my sections and I'm super proud of these. I made these dividers myself. I just had some thick cardstock on hand and all I did was take my personal size dividers and trace all the tabs. So I cut them all by hand and it was really easy. I'm gonna use these for now, but I might try to get some clear dividers at some point. Um, but I just put our script labels on them. So the first set of dividers are yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. So here's my yearly. And as you can see, I have my personal size insert in here because I didn't want to print a new one for personal wide and put all the stickers. So I just left this in here, but then I have my one for 2022 and I have all my goals inserts, which I haven't filled out yet because I'm thinking I might just save these for 2022 so I didn't want to write all my 2021 stuff in here. So we'll see, but I have all my goals inserts. I have this little bookmark because every day when I plan my day, I have a bookmark to go directly to my daily planning routines. And that's it in my yearly section. In my monthly section, I have all my monthly inserts. So I do have the personal size October in here because I didn't want to rewrite all this. And then I have a couple of blank ones for November and December. I have all my 2022 dated inserts here for the whole year. And then in my weekly section, again, I have my personal size insert in here. This is my favorite fold out insert. And I just kept it in here to finish out the week. But then for next week and going forward, I printed out this insert, which is very similar, but not a fold out. The only problem with this one is I lose the tracker and these extra lists and also the columns are much more narrow. We'll see if it'll work out and I just keep one month's worth of weekly inserts in here. And then my daily section, I have my personal size divider in here and I'm using it for my daily dashboard, which I'll talk more about in my next video. But basically I have some trackers here as well as my task card and this is my daily dashboard and then my daily spread on this side. And so I have a whole month's worth of those inserts in here. And then the back section is wellness, family, the business, and this is supposed to say content, but I didn't have a sticker for that, so I had to make one. But these are all my top priorities and this is where I'm keeping my trackers now. So here in my wellness section, I have my perpetual calendar, which I use for health stats. These are all blank because I just printed them for personal wide and I don't wanna write anything in yet until I figure out if I'm staying in this size. Um, I have an insert for tracking my blood glucose levels and I have an insert for tracking our health appointments. In my family section, I have this insert, which is our I believe it's called finances insert and I'm going to use this one for my virtual cash envelope which I think I talked to you guys about a video or two ago so I'm just going to log our spending on here like for groceries and food and entertainment and then I have another insert here that I just made for myself that is for spending in these certain categories that I'm trying to track and then in my business section, I have this insert, which is just tracking our different revenue streams. I like to track what we make each week because I don't know about you other shop owners, but sometimes my weekly revenue fluctuates. So I just like to track it. And then I have this business tracker, which tracks my monthly revenue. So I also like to track what we're making at the end of each month, as well as expenses. On this side, I track monthly subs to my content section. I have this insert, which is just all the content we put out and what platform that content will go out on. This is something new that I'm trying. And then I have the other business tracker here, and this is for the content side of things. So here I'm actually gonna change these headings and it's gonna be like social media and other things that I'm gonna track for the content side. So those are all my sections. I have this page lifter in the back. 
um, which is personal size so it doesn't fit all the way across. Once I decide if I'm staying in personal wide, then I might try to invest in a personal wide page lifter and dividers like the clear ones because I really like that aesthetic the best. But we'll see first before I spend the money. Back here, I use my planner as a wallet so that way I don't have to carry an extra thing in my bag. So I have all my debit cards, my driver's license, my insurance, and I use these card skins from our shop to cover up the top half of these cards because they're like blue and red and all these different colors which don't match the rest of my planner. So I put these card skins here to make it look nice and pretty. In this pocket, I have actually some personal information like contact numbers of loved ones in case like there's an emergency and my phone dies and I don't have anyone's numbers memorized. I keep it here on a little card in my planner. And then in this front little pocket here, I have some cash just for spending. In the middle pocket here, I have other cash. These envelopes are my daughter's. They got some birthday money from a relative, so I hold on to it for them, as well as some cash I need to deposit into the bank, so I keep it separate from the spending cash. And then in the back, I have receipts that I need to log. And in the back big pocket, I just have this little thing which holds our COVID vaccination cards and I don't have anything else in there right now. I have my friction erasable pen here and my gray highlighter here and that's it. So I really like it so far. We'll see if I stay in it. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!